Welcome to our channel at Vagabond Builds with James and Sandu. We are doing a comparison video between the 2024 Honda Civic in the Sport trim, comparing it over to the higher trim in the 2024 Honda Civic EX trim. Now we're gonna be talking about differences and similarities in this video, but before we start, we'd like to give a shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Honda here in Folsom Lake, California, or Folsom, California, for providing us these beautiful cars for this comparison video. Keep watching, stay tuned, because we're also gonna be talking about the price tags and dropping those MSRP stickers so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on each car with the price tag on top. Let's go ahead and dive in. So let's dive in and not waste your time and talk about differences between first the Sport over to the EX in second. Now, these are two of four trims. You have the LX, the Sport, which we have here, the EX, and then one above that is the Touring. Yes, there is a fifth trim in the S size sedan, but that's kind of its own little island because it comes manual transmission and so forth. In the four trims of the automatic or the continuous variable transmission, these are two of them. The reason I pop both hoods is because you have in the EX sorry, in the LX and Sport trim, you get the engine option of a 2.0 naturally aspirated engine that is paired together with a continuous variable transmission. That in which pushes 158 horsepower with 138 pounds feet of torque. The MPG on this exact car is 30 city, 37 highway and 33 combined. If we shoot over to the EX, now the EX trim, does not get that 2.0 naturally aspirated engine. It gets a 1.5 liter turbo engine, still has the continuous variable transmission, but the numbers change. 180 horsepower with 177 pounds feet of torque. MPG is 33 city, 42 highway, and the 36 combined. So a way better MPG number than the Sport, okay? They both come in electric power steering. The dimensions on both are going to be 184 inches in length, 71 inches in width, 56 inches in height, 108 inch wheelbase, okay? So what do you guys think? Less power, but naturally aspirated. More power, which is by what? 158 over to 180 is 22 horsepower. Is it worth it? Do you guys like the turbo system? If you want some Vagabond advice, Vagabond says go naturally aspirated, just less issues to worry about, okay? Let's go ahead and shut this hood. Close the hood to that one. And also this one. Now, these are two of eight exterior paint colors, okay? So this is a Raleigh red, and this is a sonic gray metallic, all right? This is two of eight on the sedans. If you think in hatchback, hatchback also has their eight colors as well. But we're talking sedans today. What is different on the front end from the Sport over to the EX trim? Nothing. Nothing different on the front end. So the front ends come matte black plastic upper grille, matte black plastic lower grille with the trim, no fog lights on either or. Front headlights do come LED day daytime running light and LED front lights, okay? Exactly the same. If we come over to the side, the sides, you're gonna see some differences. Let's go over to the wheel area. The Sport has the high gloss black Sport rims. You have the Goodyear Eagle Sports, and this is the same exact tire, the rubber, that they put on the Touring trim. But here on the Sport, you get a high gloss black rim and it looks just sporty. And the size of this is a 235-40-18. It is gonna be a heavier rim. If we shoot it over to the EX, high gloss black on the interior side, machine surface silver on the surface. 215, 50, 17, so it's an inch smaller, tire is smaller, and they're running a Firestone FT140, and it is a lot lighter system here on the EX, and that's probably one of the reasons why your MPG is better on the EX than on the Sport. Some similarities with regards to the wheel area or suspension, front strut McPherson suspension system, which is a shock spring strut suspension. You get the four discs all around, and then the rear link uh, multi, sorry, the rear multi-link rear suspension, okay? That's similarities. Continuing forward, on the Sport, you're gonna see some uh, different color schemes because everything is blacked out on the Sport, like this side mirror. Got the same color on top of the mirror here on the EX, so it doesn't look as sporty. Got that sonic gray on top. Another thing, EX comes blind spot assist. You get that on each mirror. The Sport, being a lower trim, does not come with the blind spot assist. Another difference, the trim blacked out on the Sport, but on the EX, you have the chrome trim up top, okay? Also, tilt and slide moonroof option on the EX, okay, higher trim. 
you got the slick top on the Sport. Moving over to the rear end. Rear end, what are we gonna see that's completely different? Two things is going to be your Sport emblem. The EX does not have an EX emblem. And then also your rear muffler Sport uh, finisher there as well. And you're not gonna have that on the EX. If we shoot over, no EX emblem. And also the, the exhaust tips are tucked on the right and the left of the system. Other than that, nothing else is different. You have the tail lights that are LED tail lights, parking reflectors. Both have the rear camera on the left hand side of the Honda emblem. Let's go ahead and pop, pop, sorry, pop the cargo area. About 14.8 cubic feet of space in both. You're going to be paying extra for these weather liners, just to give you an idea. And then both do come with a spare tire and tire situation along with that funnel. Seats do go back down on the backrest by these levers here. Okay, you pop that lever and that back seat will pop down. It's a sixth of full backrest on the Sport. But if we shoot over to the EX, the EX actually has a 60 and a 40. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. Just like that, okay? So there goes another major difference with regards to the backrest. You can actually fit more passengers and have something down. Actually, maybe throw some skis back there if you're shooting on a sunny day up to the mountain or something. Now that we're done talking about differences in specs, exteriors, and cargo, let's go ahead and shoot over to the interiors. All right, so sitting in the Sport trim, which is the lower trim, let's talk some price. Now, the Sport trim is coming in at around 26635 the EX trim is coming at around $2,000 more, okay? What does the EX have that the Sport doesn't? Let's go ahead and bring that to you guys right now. So the main difference is the inlays on the Sport are matte black to where on the EX you get some high gloss black on the door panels, okay? That's on the door panels, just in the front. Then we go over to the Sport pedals. All right, you get the silver Sport pedals down there. Going over to the seats, Different design in seats. These seats do look a little bit sportier, okay? So the EX is a little bit more kind of a luxury feel. I don't know how much luxury. I know it's a Civic, but again, with the partial leather or pleather, whatever you want to call that, all right, you don't get that in the EX. The EX is full cloth. Coming over to the steering wheel, paddle shifters for that sport mode that you're getting. If we go ahead and continue, we're going to shoot up over to the top moonroof. All right, I mentioned that this is a slick top and that switch is not placed there, so it's gonna look a little bit different here as well. And another thing that's gonna be different since we're here at the moonroof is going to be this little light here to where, because of the moonroof, this light gets set back over to the rear seats, okay? That's something different. Dropping down over to the dual climate control, what, what do we mean by that? The Sport has a single climate control, meaning that you don't, uh, passenger and driver cannot manage their own climate. And because of that, the modes to the air is placed here on this knob instead of having a button right there for it. And then this little alternating air is placed here on the left-hand side of that temperature control, okay? That's different. And dropping down, as I mentioned, you get the drive mode. Here on the Sport, you get the Sport drive mode to where the EX has just the normal and the economy. And because of that, you do get the paddle shifters. I'm about six feet, two inches, everybody. So get an idea of kind of what it looks like for us tall guys to be here. And to be honest, we know that Civics always, we're pretty friendly being a small compact sedan. It was pretty friendly with us tall people. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the back end. See if we get anything different on the back end with regards to the Sport, to the EX, then jump inside the EX. Here on the Sport, the seats do look the same coming over, over from the front with regards to the partial leather, but we don't have that sporty design here in the center insert. So we do see that the Sport does simplify coming over to the back bench, okay? We don't get an armrest on the back bench because it's just that one piece backrest. There isn't a 60, 40 percenter as the EX has. And also no pocket, okay? The EX comes with a pocket on the back of that passenger seat. The Sport has no pockets back here. How do you guys feel about that? Is the $2,000 worth it? Let me know and I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, everybody, let me show you guys what $2,000 extra gets you in the EX trim, starting with the door panel. Remember I told you guys the black gloss inlays 
that comes on. It gives it a little bit more kind of a classier look. You got the cloth insert right here, so it adds a little bit more, you know, character to the door panel. That's different. If we shoot over to the pedals, the pedals are just kind of that rubber black. On the Sport, you have the silver. The seats themselves, different design, as mentioned, in their full cloth. So different center inserts, full cloth on the bolsters. If I go ahead and come over to the steering wheel, the steering wheel does not have the paddle shifters because you don't have the sport mode. Okay, so no sport mode, no paddle shifters, right? Shooting over to the top. Remember I told you about that switch? Because of that switch, you have that manual visor and that tilt and slide moonroof option. It's gonna look a little bit different here as I showed you guys. Dropping down, dual climate control. Remember I told you guys, look, you can sync both climates or you can just manage each climate, okay? That's dual climate control. And that button, the mode button that was here in the sport is now here on uh, the little hard button there. One thing I did forget to mention is the sport does not come with heated seats, okay? So heated seats in the EX as well, that's a huge thing for me. And if we go ahead and drop down the little center console toggle switch area, this is an economy button. You don't have the sport little drive mode, but that is something that is different. Other than that, nothing else pretty much different. Let's go ahead and shoot over to the second row seating, drop MSRP stickers and finish off with this video. Second row seating, what do we get here that the sport doesn't? The armrest with the cup holders here in the back, okay? Something that we get. The seats themselves, do simplify, so no design on the back bench. It's just that black regular cloth, okay? You, uh, the Sport did have a little bit of um, character from the front over to the back. The, uh, the EX has no character from the front over to the back, just completely black. And then we get that extra pocket, that pocket on the back uh, of the front seat, all right? And remember I told you guys, up top you got the reading light instead of placed here in the center because of that moonroof we get it placed here in the back, all right? This backrest seats are a 40%er on the passenger and a 60%er on the driver. Now, as promised, here's the MSRP sticker first to the Sport trim. This is cheaper. This is the one coming in at 26,635. Now, here's the MSRP sticker that's coming in on the EX coming in at 28,500. So what is that like? $2,000, $2,100 difference. Let me know if you guys think it's worth it in the comment section below. Questions, concerns, ask me. I'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Here at Vagabond Builds, check out our other videos between trim comparisons and different manufacturers of cars. Remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you and God bless.